Welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Nilima. Wishing all my dear friends and Creative Art family a very happy, prosperous and healthy new year. Friends, on this new year, this is the first painting I have made and as this is one of your major requests, so friends, please do subscribe my channel to watch more Creative Art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. Friends, in this video, I have shown you to do this beautiful Meenakari painting in all easy and simple steps by which I have received this kind of perfection. So friends, please do watch the whole video to make it yourself. And friends, do share my channel if you like my videos. Friends, this is the full view of the Meenakari painting and this is how I have framed it. All the materials required to make this kind of beautiful Meenakari painting are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them as well as shown in the video. To get this image, use it as a reference. Please to click on the link www.creativeathome.com which is my website. So enjoy this painting friends. Friends, let's quickly check out the materials which we are going to need for Meenakari painting. First of all, for the base, we can use either a canvas board or else a glass piece you can also use plywood or hardwood for a base secondly we are going to require minas so these are the minas i also use pearls sometimes i also use uh, this kind of golden and pink string of beads and these are the minas also called as kundans so i do prefer to use different shapes and sizes and colors of kundan so according to the picture you have to select which kundan to apply on which part and this kind of glitter kundans are also available in the market and for sticking those kundans i generally use camel fabrica glue other than that we are going to need fevicryl glass colors which is water based you can also use solvent based if you like to and most important for doing the golden part we use 261 metallic gold camel glass liner for this painting friends i'm going to use this image as a reference you can also use any image as you like let's start now first of all friends we are going to place a transparent ohp sheet on our reference you can also use a glass sheet if you want to and then using a tape i'm going to secure all the four sides of the OHP sheet and the reference we are using. Now friends, using the black 832 fevicryl glass liner, I'm going to start the outlining part. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to complete the lining part and after that, I will show you how does it looks, okay? So friends, after completing the lining part, this is how our painting looks. Now friends, we are going to start the coloring part using fabric glass colors, which are water based and available in 10 shades, okay? So for this painting, we are going to use few colors which are yellow, orange, pink, parrot green and skin color. First of all, I'm going to use skin color to color all the skin part. Friends, you can make this skin color yourself by watching the color mixing chart video. I have given that the link of the video in the description box below. Now friends, for the face part, I'm going to show you a little bit of trick which is going to be very useful for you all. On the face part friends, we are going to create some shading and for that I'm going to use white color. And first of all, we are going to add white in the parts we want the color to be, to color to look light. And then we are going to add skin color and we will mix a little bit of skin with that white. The mixing of color should be done really very good. So in this way you can determine that where you want to do the darker shade and where you want to place the lighter shade. For example, I want a very light shade above the eye in this part and on the cheek a little bit on Mix a little bit with white 
and then fill up the same skin color in rest of the parts. If there are any bubbles, remove them immediately. So the face is also completed now. Okay, so next we are going to start coloring the chunni and the blouse part. So here friends, the chunni and the blouse, I'm going to do a shading of yellow and orange. So I'm starting from here. I'm using yellow on the blouse. Just color it plain yellow first. And then I'm going to use orange color and draw simple lines of orange in this way. And then just try to shade it from just one side, okay? The other I'm going to let it be as it is. If there are any bubbles in your painting, remove it immediately using a cotton bud. Now we are going to start the shading part on chunni and for that first of all I am going to use orange color and then mix it using yellow and again I am going to use orange and then mix the orange using yellow and I am going to color the blouse part as orange. Now I'm using yellow, mixing it with orange, continuing it downwards. I'm using orange, then mixing it with yellow. Now again using orange here. Now friends I have added orange here, then I'm going to mix it using yellow. Now friends, I have thought to do a shading part on this chunni, so I'm going to use green color. I'll add green color first and using the yellow color, I'm going to pull it upwards and create a shading by mixing both of them, mixing green with yellow. Friends, if you want to watch the color mixing in detail and learn it, you may please uh, check the description box in which I have given the link for a basic color mixing video so that this thing you are going to learn very easily. Now here for the chunni, I am going to do shading. I will start using yellow first. Then I am using orange, mixing it with yellow, creating a shade and using a lot of orange. I'm going to use a brown color over here, giving it a little bit of darkness. And then mixing orange with brown. Okay, so there is a shading. I'm using bad green color in this part. Now friends, I'm going to color this bottom part using yellow, light layer of yellow okay do not bombard it with the whole colors because we are going to do the basic color mixing part here as we did it on the blouse okay and after doing that I'm going to use orange color starting from here then add a slight line thin line of orange now friends we are going to color the lehenga part and for that I'm going to use a light pink color which I have made using a combination of white and pink color. So with this our coloring part is finally completed so we are going to let this part get dry and then I will show you how does it looks. okay. Now friends our coloring part has got dried up completely. I have kept it for at least 15 hours to let it get dry completely and now we are going to start doing the most important part which is the meenakari part and for that we are going to need meenas like this. These are silver meenas, blue meenas, yellow, red and green color meenas. Okay, other than that I have also this kind of flat pearls which are flat from one side and to stick this meenas I am going to use fabrica glue. You also get fabrical fabrica glue, you also get the camel fabrica glue and if your painting is quite small where your meaners doesn't fit, you can do a design using 261 metallic gold camel glass liner, okay? 
and for making the pearl side you can use 262 metallic silver camel glass liner so now friends here i have all my minas and now i'm going to start placing them so first of all i'm going to place a few minas on her blouse i'll apply a little bit of glue on the point where i want to place it as i want the surrounding of it to be golden so i'm already placing the golden liner in a straight line then use a toothpick or a matte stick and apply a little bit of glue on the tip of the stick and then lift up the mina in this way and place it on the glue okay the same we are going to do on this blouse now after doing that i'm going to place few pearls with the green minas okay I'm going to place two pearls and one green mina each time. So I'll apply blue. Now I'm going to make the next necklace and for that I'm going to use the red beads. So I'm picking up the red minas. After placing the minas, I'm going to use my silver liner to create a design around these minas because actually I wanted to place the silver color minas but as it is not possible so I'm going to place silver color liner. Now I'll draw a few small dots on the mina itself. Now again I want to place the center mina of this pendant. And then using the silver liner, I'll create small tiny pearls around the necklace pearl and then try to create two strings of pearls. Now again I'll place glue here. Then we are going to do the same as we did for this blouse part. So I'll place golden liner and then place the mina red and green. I'll use again my silver liner to create line of pearl. This pearl has to be small pearl surrounding the red mina. And now we're going to make the chunkas. For that I'll apply glue. Then again use the silver liner and surround this minas and also use a golden liner now I'm going to place the bindi red here red on hands and after that I'll apply some more blue here and place the silver minas let the part get dry a little bit and you will be able to see I want to place green minas over here. Now surrounding this red minas, I'm going to place the silver glitter minas. And then we're going to place the same line of bracelet of bangles over here of red and green. So we'll also apply golden. Same hand design we have to do on the other hand also. Now I'm going to use my golden liner to make some small design. Now I'm going to use my silver liner to create a string of pearls. Now here I have applied glue and in the center I'm going to add golden liner. And now here I'm going to place the silver minas without disturbing the white liner which I have made a pearl line over there. Jewelry part we have to make it on this hand also in the same way we have to follow the same design okay. Okay now we are going to do the headpiece. I'm applying blue, taking out the five minas. Okay only four fit Surround the minas using golden liner, placing the golden dots and then placing the silver dots. 
then I'm going to place the silver minas in this line next line second now friends after all the jewelry part and the blouse part I have shown you how you have to do it you can do it yourself and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to design the dress part. So for the chinni, we are going to place the silver minas. For that I have applied glue. Now I'm going to place them. Now we are going to do the border of the chinni. For that I'm applying glue. The border is going to be quite heavy and we are going to add green and red color minas. Now, after putting the minas, we are going to draw a zigzag line. So friends, in the same way, we have to do the border part for the chimney. Now friends, after making the border, I am going to start decorating the chimney. And for that, I am going to use this small little bungan. Now we are going to place minas in this part. I am going to place yellow condens on this part. I am going to add a few silver minas in between this. So you know friends, we have finally completed our Minakari painting and now it has also got dried up and this is how beautiful it has come up. I'm going to remove all the secured sides using my cutter and then I'm going to place it on a white sheet as a background so that you can see it. So now friends, I'm going to frame this painting for you and then show you how does it looks, okay? So friends, here is our beautiful Minakari painting finally completed and I have framed it in this way using a brown border and I will show you the full view of it. This is how beautiful it looks. I have framed it with a very simple brown and black shading border. You can frame it as you want and you can also notice friends, the jewelry part, the Mina part, the finishing and the perfection I have done without a single bubble or any single dot error in the whole painting. So friends, please do try to make it yourself and tell me in the comments below how did you find this video friends and if you did like this video friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.